The disappearance of Jennifer Dulos has captivated many in this country surrounding the mystery of what truly happened to this poor mother of five. Otis Dulos, the once husband to Jennifer, was suspected of murdering her. Otis then took his own life, leaving only two other people charged with possible connections to Jennifer's disappearance. That would be Kent, his lawyer friend, and Michelle, Fotis' ex-girlfriend. I never expected to be involved up until this point since this past February, seeing if there are any spiritual clues that could lead us where she could be. Since then, I have had visions and visitations psychically having to do with this case. My friend and I were led to an area on the Farmington River by spirits. Countless times we've been up there getting responses, telling us something is there below the river, as if something could be in there connected to Jennifer. You have to be objective to what spirits will say, but there was only one thing we could do next. That was to try and confirm whether there's any truth to what we've experienced. So we purchased a sonar to get a closer look at what possible secrets this river could be holding. This is what transpired. Get out there and see if we find anything. It's cold out here. All right. We gotta do this, we gotta look in here. Hey, we're back at this, what I like to call the Death River because the energy here is just really messed up. There's a lot of dark things here, regardless of whether we find something here or not. Spirits have led us here many times to tell us that something's in here. We've had a lot of hurdles to try to get in here and do it the right way to have the best chance of finding something. Um, and here we are, we have sonar and we're gonna try to get as much as we can get done today with the sonar, see if we have any suspicious items that come up. It records on the device as well as I have another phone so I can Facebook message him um, that he can show and I'll show it to on the phone if something strange comes up that doesn't match to be a part of the bottom of the terrain um, of this water. Um, I guess what I can do is follow Jared. Just call out, man, if you see something. Um, he's, if you guys look, he's on that area over here where we originally went to the first time we came here because we, we went to a bunch of places pinpointed on the map. And that right here is the area where we got the, the warning you and then it said, stop looking. So that was the original area. So he's right in that area over there, which is the initial place that we went to. I feel something really angry with me right now. It's really angry. I, I don't know if it has something to do with why we're here. It's just, I think it's, it, it's here. I don't know if it's connected, but it's something really fucking pissed off. Who's angry? How dare you? Someone's saying, how dare you? Who's saying, how dare you to me? Is it who I think it is? That's actually what he has said to me before, in a vision. This is where we thought most feasible, where he could... We've seen cars drive all the way up right here. This is five minutes away from 80 Mountain Spring Road, where they believe that she was um, possibly dismembered. Very feasible. He could have came here and got rid of her somewhere in this area, um, on top of what we've gotten. <laughs> paranormal wise and spiritually from Job. spirits. There's the spot. Where's the spot? Watching. Meadow. What? Fatal. Something about the well. Hmm. Sorry. 
Simple afternoon. Simple afternoon. Go along the uh, area. In the car. In the car. Whose car? Botus's car? Gage. Test. Nana. <laughs> Decompose. What's decomposing? <laughs> Kent. It just said Kent's name. Reach out for it. Reach out for it? Themselves. What? Move back the corner. Dude. Dead. It just said move back the corner. What I didn't know was that Jared had just gone over something. It caught his eye on the sonar a moment before in the corner. He then heard me yell out what the spirit said to look in the back corner and went for another peek at it. Could this be something significant? I hope. I hope. Help him. Murder. Who's murder? Are you saying that Jennifer is in the corner there in the back? Is Jennifer in this river where we're looking? Part? Is part of Jennifer in this river? Are we close to where she is? Is she in the corner? Like you said. Yes. Yeah. Execution. Jen. It just said execution and Jen. Video. This photo is nowhere here right now. He knows. There's definitely some type of anomaly here. There's there's a couple things, but this thing looks like it had right angles, which struck me as odd. Really? I mean, it doesn't mean it's anything. Someone could have, someone could have thrown anything up, you know, over the water. Or yeah. Dude, they said um, back there in the corner, and that's exactly where you are right now. This is where I th uh, there's two things, and I've noted them. Just to give you guys, let me see if... Can you guys see that right yeah. up there? Right, look where my finger is. You talk about that thing in top left corner? You see what that weird black and white thing? Yeah, that there is not normal. What could this item be? Is it man-made? Is it connected to the case? Not sure, but we're taking note of it as we continue. Is that item we just found in the corner over here where you said? Dive? Holy crap. Sean? Who put the item in the water over there? If someone's remained. Buried. 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 Buried.
timeout. Somebody. Somebody. Who's somebody? It's someone's human remains. Whose human remains are over there? In the water. Does Kent know that she's here? Yes or no? He knows? Garage. What's in that container? I noticed here on review this man's voice replying the word garage and then wife. After comparing the voices, they sounded identical. Is this Fotis replying to some of my questions? this mean? Is it referring to this area as well or an intelligent response on a broader scale regarding the potential level of involvement of these individuals? Vision. I had some visions. Fight you. Who wants to fight me? Serpent. The serpent wants to fight me? I know there's something demonic around Fotis that I've seen too. It's with horns. Is that what you're referring to? Correct. Correct. Like the demonic thing wants everyone to still suffer from the strategy and let it go on. Will we find Jennifer's remains over there? Yes or no? Yeah. When we get divers, will we find her? That was crazy. That was crazy. I'm going to call Jared, see what his deal is right now, really quick. Turn the camera around. Stuff there? Yeah. Find my body. Could this have something to do with Jennifer? Or another poor soul of a person wanting their body to be found somewhere along this river? A tree? Yeah. Stump or something? Yeah, I have it too. I have it set too wide. All right. Let me see 
head back in. All right, guys. Well, um, we did find a couple of little anomalous items here. Um, don't know what they are. Don't know if there's any truth of it being significant. You know, going to have to review this. Um, interesting. Definitely intelligent stuff regarding the case. Um, whether or not we hit on an item or not, don't know. Going to have to take a closer look. Yet another investigation by this river, Dark Secrets. But this time, we actually got to take a peek at the bottom. Although we didn't get to scan the entire area, there are some human-like anomalous items we need to look at further. All we can do is keep an open but objective mind and hope for the best outcome. That is with the family getting the closure they deserve. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on notifications.